Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and another on the road video. In this video, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about what to expect on the latest Xbox and PlayStation 4 patch due later this week. So let's get on with today's video. Now this patch is most welcome on both the Xbox and the PlayStation 4, but with the Xbox I think you'll be pleasantly surprised because the mirrors that currently don't work in the game, they were planned for patch 3, that's now moved forward to patch 2, so from Wednesday onwards you'll be able to play with the mirrors on and get a far more complete trucking experience. Toxtronic have also found a way to get the mirrors working and not have such a hit on the performance as well and that method that they've implemented on the Xbox is also going to be on the PlayStation as well so you know on the PlayStation we have played it before where you switch the mirrors on and it does feel like the game is running at a slightly slower clock speed well hopefully that won't be there on the Xbox or the PlayStation 4 version. As soon as the last patch on the Xbox was released, we played it here on the channel. And one thing we did notice, it was pretty obvious that they'd somehow lowered the quality of the textures to get the patch working properly. Well, now those textures are going to be back up to where they should be. And the textures are going to be improved on the PlayStation 4 as well. Also, small things like the water is very dark in the game. If you go over a bridge, it just looks totally black. Well, that's all going to go blue and be a lot more realistic. So we should get Get graphical improvements on both consoles. Another very welcome improvement and update is going to be included in this patch for the AI. Now I've shown it many times on the channel, you only have to pull out of a junction and an AI car or truck will just cave straight into the side of you. They don't stop, they don't see you. Well now that has changed. So if you pull out of a petrol station and the cars come in, they will stop and behave in a more realistic manner, not only with you, with each other as well. Also pathfinding for your AI vehicles has been improved. They will find a much more natural and quick a more economical route. In the last Xbox patch the taco was improved and that improvement is going to come across to the PlayStation 4 in this latest patch as well. Also small improvements like to the menus have been streamlined, a few improvements to the way that you hire staff as well. This patch is going to bring both the Xbox and the PlayStation up to the same version number and from there on they will have the same version so it will bring them both up to speed albeit without the steering wheel support on the Xbox so we're still waiting for that hopefully that will be in the next patch but they did say also that they're almost finished with the PlayStation 5 version and that's going to go to submission to Sony but it all sounds pretty good yes it's been quiet over the last week to 10 days but with the amount of work that I've just gone through there you can see that's a fair point at least the patch is going to drop sometime Wednesday and I think both versions will be greatly improved as soon as the patch drops on Wednesday I will be showing it here on the channel including both versions so we can have a real deep look and see whether these improvements have all been implemented and do they work properly and improve what we've got but before you go I would love you to leave a comment in the comment section below what do you think at the speed and pace of the way that they're working and the things that they're trying to improve are you impressed with it are you still not sold on the game are you still unhappy I'd love to know in the comment section below but that is it everyone have a lovely day and I'll see you Wednesday.